Hello everyone, welcome back. Well, you can see the Simplicity made at home from Ole Ann. And I have it sitting right next to my 1956 Willys truck. I gotta do a full walk around video on that in itself, but I figured I'd get them both sitting next to each other. So, I'll show you some of the finer details on this since I got it here. There's the wood grain um, stickers that the 3210s came with. It's got a Delco Remy 12 volt starter generator, which is standard for most garden tractors of the time. And there's the landlord wood, wood uh, grain sticker. This needs to be cleaned. This thing will clean up really nice. Seat's seen better days, but I'm going to leave it just the way it is because it's the original seat that came with it. And another very um, important detail about this tractor and its originality is this very original Nelson muffler. This right here is its original Nelson muffler. Um, all Alice Chalmers and uh, Simplicity um, square hood and earlier round hood garden tractors came with these Nelson mufflers. There's the grill with the Simplicity um, Sorry about that, the Simplicity S. And then of course you got the landlord down at the bottom of the grill. Now the engine is a Briggs & Stratton 23D cast iron engine. Very heavy duty. They've, they're known for um, for their, their reliability and uh, how long they'll last. Um, here's this mower deck. Look at this mower deck. I mean, this thing is going to last forever. This mower deck on this thing. Although I'm going to be taking it off because I probably won't mow with this tractor. But um, I'm going to put this with my horde of garden tractor attachments. And also, another neat detail about this tractor is it's got its original um, fuel gauge. Um, it's made of plastic. They usually, uh, the plastic usually gets a, um, like a haze on it, or they crack and they break. But this one's still intact. Only thing that this tractor's really missing, other than the seat cover being all ripped up, is the simplicity emblem on the steering wheel steering wheel center and then you got the amp meter some other cool stuff but yeah it's just a fine machine fine example of an all original simplicity 3210 landlord from 1968 very nice tractor indeed Oh, before I forget too, I'm not gonna take the hood off because it's more of a pain to take off than it's worth, but let me get this seat pan up here real quick. Here's the transmission. Transaxle, transaxle I should say. It's not a transmission, this is a transaxle. Um, but you can see there's the bevel gearbox on this thing. I would show you if there's an easy way for me to show you, but no plainness at all. No play at all. Um, here's the bevel gearbox right here. Really nice. I know I've said that a million times, I'm sorry. But it's just a really excellent tractor. I have not gotten this one running yet. I'm getting ready for cool spring engine show, so there's a lot lot to do before that happens but for now I'm just kind of showing the machine as it is as I got out of the out of the estate so yeah there's your walk around video and here's the willies in the background 
A few last things to note about this tractor is that there's no shortage of this grease being splattered all over on this thing. The previous owner, the original owner I should say of this tractor, and the second owner of it, um, he was a mechanic and so he understood the importance of lubricating things and keeping things greased. So basically everything on this tractor has been cared for and had all the maintenance done to it until he passed away. Um, the tractor sat for two years. He mowed with it up until 2019 and then he passed away then. So it's been sitting since. So it hasn't been sitting for about three years, but give or take. I think it's 2019 or 2020 he passed away. But this was his tractor. He mowed with it up until then. Um, I'm sure if he was still alive, he would still be mowing with it cutting lawn with it so yeah a really nice tractor to have in the collection I'm very proud to own this one and I'll make sure I do some videos of it when I get it going and uh, as always thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one there's the truck and the simplicity and there's Trevor he's my co-pilot he goes with me everywhere whenever I go on trips so yeah